The kids are abusing their favorite weed. Come on, let's go catch them in the act. The weed's scientific name is Nepatocateria. It belongs to the mint family of plants and now grows all over the world. And if you can believe it, cats can smell it in the air at one part per billion. Come on, let's see what they are. Uh -huh. You guessed it, catnip. New discoveries that you need to know and why cats react to it, coming up. Yeah. My name is Francisco and on this channel we cover topics that help improve the lives of indoor cats with the help of my three cats, Calypso, Skyfall and Mr. Muffin. We all know the cats go crazy over catnip. It's sold in bags, put into toys, made into sprays, added to treats. But why? Why are my cats going crazy like this? There is new research that tells us exactly why. The answer will surprise you, and it also has implications for human medicine and comfort. But first a few facts. Catnip is not addictive, but small cats and large cats alike will react to it. About 30% of adult cats do not respond to it, and kittens do not respond to it, but the rest do. Most cats paw, lick, jump, roll in it, uh, and act generally excited when they're around it. The effect lasts for 10 to 15 minutes. In case you're worried about it, catnip is not toxic to cats, and it does not affect their body physically like alcohol or smoke might do to humans. So how does it work? Catnip produces an essential oil called napatolactone. It binds to receptors in their noses and causes this mild euphoric effect. In case you're wondering, I had to practice saying napatolactone. Nep, nepat, nepat, nepatolactone, nepatolactone, nepatolactone. Okay, I think I got it. According to Dr. Bruce Kornreich, Associate Director at Cornell University's Veterinary School, catnip does have a narcotic effect, but scientists don't really know what's going on in a cat's brain. But when cats are given an opioid blocker, it, the effect is reduced or eliminated completely. So they believe that the opioid receptors do have something to do with it. So why did cats develop this attraction? Why does napatolactone attract them? Some scientists used to believe that uh, catnip triggered a plain behavior or maybe some sexual behaviors. But now most believe that cats are using it as an insect repellent. Now this quality of catnip has been known for centuries. Uh, Pliny the Elder, the Roman naturalist, wrote about it 2,000 years ago. Research has shown that napatolactone is about 10 times more effective than DEET, the primary active ingredient used in most mosquito repellents. So how does it work? According to a current biology report on Cell.com, a study by Northwestern University in cooperation with Lund University in Sweden, napatolactone activates an irritant receptor in many invertebrates, insects, bugs, that kind of thing, called TRPA1. But this does not affect vertebrates, including cats and humans. I'll put the link to the study below in case you're interested in reading the whole thing. TRPA1 is a receptor for noxious and irritant chemicals, and apatolactone is actually and uh, drives them away. It's an irritant. Uh, for humans, it would be like uh, similar to tear gas or wasabi paste. Those things irritate our noses and we try to get away from them. Here is a list of insects and other creatures and vertebrates that catnip has been shown to drive away. Unfortunately, it seems that catnip doesn't drive away fleas. So are cats actually uh, rubbing insect repellent on themselves when they do this kind of thing? It seems so. Cats can catch diseases from ticks. They can get uh, heartworm from mosquito bites. They can get stung by wasps or bitten by ants. And insect repellent seems to make perfect sense. 
The good news about catnip is that the active ingredients in the catnip can probably be used to make a human insect repellent also. This has important implications for human health because napatalactone has been shown to drive away the mosquitoes that cause malaria and yellow fever. Those two diseases alone cause hundreds of thousands of human deaths every year. But back to our furry friends. Is there anything to know or watch out for when our cats use catnip? The answer is yes. If they eat too much, it could cause vomiting and diarrhea, but most cats regulate themselves, so that is not a big worry. In addition, some cats react rather aggressively when they come into contact with catnip, so you might want to watch out for that. If you grow it yourself, don't put it in a pot on a balcony because in their euphoric state, your cat might just roll right off. Because the catnip triggers the pleasure centers in cats' brains, it can also be used instead of treats as a training tool, as a way to reward them for doing the right thing. If you're interested in other cat health issues, please watch my video on Mr. Muffin not eating. The link will be above the wagging cat tails. And if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and thank you very much for watching. Yeah.